Hello there, you whippersnappers! I'm back. Back again. You'd think after thousands of years and modern technology, they'd figure out ways around something as simple as sunlight, wouldn't you? Like? Sunblock, duh. Is she even serious right now? Would that even work? How should I know? She taps me on the forehead. They're not real. Tome and I share a quiet laugh. Well, you brought it up. And you're still probably a vampire, Missy. Well, think about it. What are they supposed to do? Stay inside all day with, like, the curtains drawn? I shrug my shoulders. Like, how do they get their groceries? It's not like there are too many places that are open at night. Do vampires even eat regular food? I mean, they're undead, right? What does that even mean, undead? It's dumb. You can't be alive and dead. Oh, I mean, they suck blood of pretty women. Like me, not like you. I'm sure they need their own vitamins and minerals. And their proteins and fats. Just not the garlic flavored kind. Poor vampires, they're missing out. Ah, I've never really cared much for garlic. Did Kyrie manage to teach you anything new? Nothing I couldn't have figured out on my own. Yeah, I'm sure you already know all there is to know. Probably spent all of that last night researching vampires. I nod admittingly. She's almost right. I was thinking about that shadow. Do your... So your excuses suck. You don't deserve to be sleepy. I told you about that shadow, right? I had to figure out what that was. Doesn't matter, you spent the whole night on the internet, right? Slacker. Just like that green kid! <laughs> and what are your reasons? I had a bad dream. How is your excuse any better than mine? Ah, uh, poor baby. I put on my most insincere sympathy face. Right, no sympathy for you! What was it about? I can hardly remember. It felt like something was chasing me, but I was chasing something. So you were running a marathon? I was definitely running, that's for sure. But where I was going, I have no idea. It's because you're a vampire and you're evil. Talking about running brings back bad memories of PE class. Yeesh. So Kyrie actually let you into her apartment. Yeah, believe it or not. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it. It was actually a pretty impressive place. I've known you longer, and I don't think I'm letting you anywhere near my house, weirdo. I wouldn't want to go near your house anyways. Tomo sticks out her tongue. She actually had a lot of things to share. Books I haven't seen before. And these crazy photos and reports. Awesome stuff. What, are you in love with her? You're just hilarious. We're actually getting lunch together. Want to join us? I... I don't know. I've got things to do. She looks away nervously. Like what? You know, stuff. I've known her long enough to know that she's lying to me. Is this about Kyrie? Toma looks down. You know, if you got to know her, you might actually like her. I don't hate her. It's just... Tomo lets out a frustrated sigh. What do you think she's after? She's probably after you. She's gonna kill you. Ha. <laughs> ah. You're a vampire anyways, I shrug. Some excitement? 
A break from the normal world? Maybe she's actually interested in this stuff. Certainly, she seemed like it yesterday. And exact- how exactly did yesterday go? We had a good time talking about vampires, I told you! Are you sure she's not just playing you? I had my suspicions at first, but really? You honestly think I'm that gullible? Last I checked, you're gullible enough to believe in all this supernatural crap! Well played, girly. Well played. I don't believe in them. Then why do you keep spending time with Kyrie? Is it wrong to have an interest in vampires? Ah. Come on! You should know me better! Tomo opens her mouth like she's gonna say something but stops. I don't want to hear anything more about vampires. You know I hate that supernatural garbage. It makes me sick. Jeez. What a... What a stick in the mud! She stands up and moves to another table. I mean, even back in my days, we shared scary stories about vampires. Not any of those sissy new vampires. The really scary kind. The kind that kidnaps women and drinks blood from many victims. Tomo stayed relatively quiet for the rest of the classes. If I had to talk to her, I stayed away from the topic of Kyrie or monsters. That was a little more awkward than it should have been. I wonder what's gotten to her. At least morning classes are over. Tomo's still mad it looks like. Hey! I'll see you later. Also, this little bar freaked out. Back in my day, the games didn't freak out. We made them freak out. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. They're probably glitches. Yeah. I can't blame Tomo for not wanting to come along. But I've learned one thing in school. It's that not everyone is a fan of this kind of stuff. Fortunately, I know someone that is. Pretty sure Kyrie's class is right down the hall. Passed by a handful of people on their way out the door. Room 112. I think this is it. Yep. And there's Kyrie. Sitting on her desk. Eating an apple. She waves over to me. She's got a book open on her desk. Hey, you! She smiles as I sit across from her. What are you reading? Vampire novel? Not with the sparkly? Kyrie laughs a bit. Of course not! This one's pretty grisly. Good. You know, maybe I like you. What? Vampires tearing humans apart? Nope. Vampires versus vampires. Well, that's just a little silly, isn't it? Is that even a thing? That's crazy. Well, the one vampire used to be a human. A vampire hunter, actually. And his hunters weren't- and his hunts weren't all too successful, I'm guessing. Right. So the only way he could actually defeat a vampire was to become one himself. Losing his identity in the process. Sounds like a hunter was too obsessed with his prey. I feel felt more like the hunter was making a noble sacrifice. Well, when you put it that way, I guess he was doing ju justice. But at what cost? Kiri takes another bite out of her apple. Could you imagine being a vampire? She shakes her head. It must suck. Really, old bag, it sucks? Kyrie snickers and shakes her head. Stupid puns. I swear I didn't mean to. Yeah, sure you didn't, you stupid kid. Vampirism is a curse. Could you imagine? 
After Hunter becomes a vampire, he's just kind of stuck like that. He'd be dependent on blood. He'd feel alienated from all his old friends and family. You know, not too different from me. Aside from the whole blood part. Kira finishes her apple and flips through the book. Did you know vampires don't have reflections either? Of course I did, that's common knowledge. Even I knew that. Soulless creatures with nothing else to live for except killing. If they're even, even still alive, are vampires considered living beings? Or are they like really smart zombies? You know, that's a pretty good question. Carrie's silent for a bit while she thinks. I'd say they're alive. Why so? It's a good question. Well, they have feelings and emotions, right? Do they? Always well, known vampires to be the cool, collected type that are strictly business. Well, if a human can become a vampire, then they're surely to be somewhat human-like. So you're saying they still have a soul, then? A soul? Hmm. I'd imagine. At least I think so. How does that vampire character act in the book? Don't know. The book ends after he kills the other vampire. Well, that's lame. Sounds like a really short book if you ask me. So you said that vampires can't be killed by humans. Well, I'm sure it's possible. Vampires versus vampires seems like a more fair fight. Probably more entertaining, too. Oh wow, is lunch over? That was fast. I didn't get to eat anything. I'm also done. Goodbye, kiddos.